In the video where I first introduced stationary points, we had a curve that looked like this. And clearly, where there were stationary points, these must be two different types, okay? Because ultimately, this point is where the curve is going from a positive gradient to a negative gradient, and this point is where it's going from a negative gradient to a positive gradient, okay? And there is a difference here, because if I was solving a problem, like an optimization problem, then this is cu the cu where the curve is at a maximum, and that is where the curve is at a minimum, OK? So in actual fact, what we have is if I continued this curve, the curve may have several maximums and several minimums. And they are referred to as, in this case, a local maximum and a local minimum. So what that means is within the local area, it is a maximum point. And within this local area, it is a minimum. This would be a local maximum, local minimum, and local maximum, OK? And the curve could keep on having these, OK, over and over and over again. Now, there is also another type that we need to deal with. And we have seen this when we've looked at uh, y is equal to x cubed, OK? So y is equal to x cubed is a particular example of a curve that has a stationary point that is neither a local maximum nor a local minimum. Now think back to what that curve looks like, OK? So that curve looks like this. And it is at this point that I'm, that I'm talking about, OK, where we have a gradient of 0. Because I can see that, because when I differentiate this, I get dy by dx is equal to 3x squared. And stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So if I put the 3x squared equal to 0, then clearly x has to be 0. And so there must be a stationary point at that coordinate, at the origin. But it's neither a local maximum nor a local minimum. And this is what we refer to as a point of inflection. It is a point where you are going from a positive gradient to a positive gradient. Or we could have a negative to a negative, OK? So let's summarise this. We have a local maximum that looks like this. When we are going from a positive gradient to a negative gradient, we have a local minimum Oh, that, does, that didn't really work, did it? OK, it's local minimum when the curve's going like that, when we're going from a negative gradient to a positive gradient. And is, it is a point of inflection when the curve is either going from a negative gradient to a negative gradient, or, as it was in that case, we're going from a positive gradient to a positive gradient, OK? So there are two different types of points of inflection that we need to know about, and these are the local maximums and local minimums. And we need to be able to identify uh, which is which. And so really, what you need to do is, if you want to just check whether a point is a local maximum or local minimum, you can look at the gradient either side of the stationary point, if you've got positive on the left and negative on the right, then it's a local maximum. If it's negative on the left and positive on the right, it's a local minimum. And if it's going from negative to negative or positive to positive, you know it must be a point of inflection.